Okay. This should work. This is gonna be trippy as ball. Uh, pardon me. Uh, hold on. Where do I begin? Okay. Mmm. I'm still learning how to use the green screen, and I didn't realize that when I tried to reset the green screen from some other recording or something, I think I was messing around with some of the settings. I accidentally turned the green screen filter on. I'm not even wearing the right headphones. Jesus. It's confusing having two computers and doing this. No wonder a lot of people aren't streamers. Anyway, um, apparently, okay, so OBS records all in one layer, just one layer. Your your video, your audio, your your game, your everything is in one layer. So I thought that since it's all in one layer, any filters that you apply also apply to every single layer that you're recording from, which would be the common sense. So this is crazy, right? This monitor, which you can't see, is the is Watch this. This is insane. What computer do I even need to be on to do this? Oh my god, Task Manager. Um, okay, popping up Task Manager. We go to OBS. You see me there. Watch this filter here. Filter, this is our chroma key filter. Also, if you ever make a chroma key filter, save the exact settings whenever you finish getting all the lighting right in your room. Save those exact settings and take a screenshot of them. And by screenshot, I mean a screenshot of these exact numbers. Because if you change one number, watch this, I'm at 480. Remember 480. I'm going down just to 485. Look at how grainy it gets. And then you go back to 480 and it starts to look good, right? Now, you would think, oh, that's cool. I'll just use the sliders. Uh, unless your computer is different than mine, the sliders are so sensitive, I just barely touch it. And it does all this freaky stuff. So just to get it correct, I had to go number by number. Which is why these arrow keys are here and why you can type it in manually. Okay, now that that's been said, I'm going to do something else that I don't... I don't think you're even going to be able to see this. Because it's on the second monitor. Well, you'll be able to see the effects of it. Okay, so on my first computer, the computer that I'm recording with... That is the computer you, that you want to have your chroma key filter on. For some reason, even though it applies to every single layer you're recording with, if you switch to your second computer that is posting OBS, like to the interwebs, if you turn your chroma key filter on there, like so... Hold on, let me go back to Ratchet & Clank first. Watch this, this is crazy. I didn't realize when I was recording, the last episode that you see, every neon green color is completely blacked out. All of the platforms, this weapon, every single thing. Let me just, can I use the teleporter? Including, yes, thank God I can go straight to the Megacorp store. Look at all these nice neon green screens. And this nice neon green, all neon green, right? All neon green from your perspective. This is, I've gotta share this. If I turn the same chroma key filter on, on this second, on this second computer, even though, even though this is the computer that's recording, and this is just the computer that's capturing that recording, if I turn the same chroma key filter on, now I don't know if it's because the numbers are different, which I might want to check on that, but boom! Now all the neon green colors are solid black. It's as if it's trying to get rid of the neon green, which is what a chroma key should do. So, if I remember those settings from the first computer, if I change those settings, will it fix that? Because in my recording, episode two, all these colors are blacked out. All of them. And I recorded the whole episode without realizing it. The entire... This stuff is harder than it seems. I go through a lot. I go through a lot, man. Gotta share that. Okay, can I fix it? You gotta see this. Press Control alt delete Hit your task manager. Forget all those. Go to your OBS. OBS. Now come over here to your, um, let's see, filter section. Uh, just pick anything. Any any device. Because the filter applies to all of it. Okay, so it's only on the camera layer. You want it on the camera layer. It's not on the... It's not... No chrome... What? Game capture. Well, chroma key is apparently on there as well. Oh, God. Now I'm scared to take it off because I'm afraid it's going to destroy it. We don't want chroma key on that layer, I don't think. 
And, uh, and my chroma key is still still there. Oh, God. We want to check. Okay, no filter there. No filter there. You've got your filter where? On your camera layer. Filter on your camera layer. You come over to your, your filter. Look at that. Chroma key. There's the settings. Okay. That, those... 480, 1, 1, 2, negative 240, negative 50. Okay. Let's enter those in. 480. Okay. 1. 1. Uh, backspace, backspace, 1. 1,000. Uh, 2.0, contrast is 2.0. Yeah, yeah. This, no, whoa, look at the things it's doing. Look at the crazy stuff it's doing. Negative 240, negative, no, God. Thank you. I'm just going to do it manually. Okay, now I can do first. it. Uh, negative 2, uh, 1 over. This is really diff. It's it's harder than it looks. What the? 240, fool. For God's sakes, man. Two. Two, two. Where's the 240 gonna. Oh, boy. Two, four, zero. What the. What? Oh, God. Let's get the cursor out of the way. Is it even showing any of this? Because this. I'm doing all of this on my second monitor. Oh my god, what? I'm just gonna do it manually. Fast forward. Negative 240. Oh my god. Because I keep trying to enter the negatives and it keeps resetting me to zero. It keeps resetting me to zero on the second computer. And I can't capture that one. So I think all you're seeing is me just leaning over trying to fix the numbers. This is... I love it. It's science. It's science. I want to teach people how to do this because I've been doing it for five years now and I had to learn myself I had to learn on my own because the streamers I watch they don't teach anybody how to do this negative 240 we're almost there okay negative 240 and the last number is negative 50 okay that shouldn't be too hard to get to negative 5 oh we're at negative 30 negative 40 negative 50 okay so that's all the stuff okay Holy crap! That changed everything. Whoa! So what? Okay, so close this. Minimize OBS. And oh my God! Why is it because I'm applying a double chroma key? Oh my God! Look at how blacked out it is now. So the numbers are correct, but it is blocking out. It is chroma keying so much neon green that. Every single color is just solid black. Now, on our second monitor, let's simply, without changing any of the numbers, turn chroma key off. Watch how quickly, if my theory is correct, watch how quickly all the colors just bounce right back. And turning filter off now. Look at that! On the second monitor, the chroma key filter is now off. And all the neon colors, all the high contrast is back. It's perfect. So, to future me, do not make that mistake again. Turn chroma key filter on the the recording computer, your first fil computer. All filters only on that computer. No filters on the second computer because the... Now, it's fixed. It's fixed. Unfortunately, episode two is a little bit... It's a little bit blacked out. It's a little bit funky. And you're going to see that. But we're going to learn this stuff together. Now I know to not put chroma key filter on the second computer. I don't know why, but when you do, when you do, when you do, wait, but fill, pro, no, I don't know why, but when you do, that happens. There you go. Man, look at that. All that neon green just turned to straight darkness. It's bad. And that's when you fix the numbers. On the default, this is what it is on the default. Not nearly as bad, but still, neon green, not showing up. Not showing up, and everything's grayed out. 
So it's grayed out on default. When you fix the numbers, it's blacked out. So we are learning. Oh, I love learning. Learning is great. I've got to show this. This is great. Okay. So um, more stuff on chroma key. Uh, yeah. Check your numbers. Check your... Let me just turn this off so you know I'm not screwing around. As a matter of fact, I can just remove that entirely. Are you sure you wish to remove chroma key filter? Yes. We don't want any of that. No effect filters on the second PC. Look at that. All fixed. All fixed. Can't wait to see how that turns out in post. Man, I'm so glad that I figured this out. And I'm so glad that I could share this with you. Mainly because if you have this same issue and you find this video, I might have just saved you a world of trouble. Because what I thought I was going to have to do, once I noticed that episode 2 was all grayed out and blocky and not good, I thought that I was going to have to do all of the chroma keying in post. Which means that you've already recorded the entire episode, the green, ske uh, green screen is behind you, and you have to apply a chroma key filter in post, which is probably not that difficult, but I don't know. Your computer, your setup, your recording programs might be different than mine. So recording chroma key filter in the recording stage might be easier for you, which I know it's easier for me so far. Thank you for choosing Wow, Bitcoin we're learning. Customers. Anyway, I got to keep this short so that people will actually watch it. If you learned anything, let me know in the comment section below. And until next time, let's learn together. I'll see you later, my friends.